Oh, so this is just a demonstration of how you can do your recording for your presentation on your major. So I've got my personal Zoom hooked up so you can see that it doesn't have to be a, an Alamo College of Zoom. This is my, my free Zoom account and I've got it all set up and I clicked on recording. So I'm going to go to share screen. And I've got my slides here in Google Slides. So completely free, ready to go. Um, do make sure that you include a title slide with the major that you're researching with your group. And then please put all your group members in there. That, that also kind of helps me keep track of things as, as well. It, it is on your Canvas page, but it just sure is easy when you have everybody listed all at one shot. And then you've got your, your date on here. So this is just a summary of everything that you uh, added to your discussion post. So there's your one sentence summary. Uh, make for sure that you start out with whatever field it is that you're researching and then use those design uh, lead construction of improve lead testing of those kinds of, of engineering role words and try to avoid circular definitions. So it'd be tempting to say agricultural engineers design agricultural machines, but then we've got agricultural defined as agricultural. So try and replace anything like that with something that's a slightly different. So I'm gonna replace agricultural with farming and, and ranching that covers most of it. Maybe aquaculture should be in there as well, um, but this is sort of good enough for my, my quick presentation. And then uh, each of the majors is going to have some fields that they'll uh, really focus on. So just pick a few, pick, you know, four to six. Um, if you're doing electrical and computer, you'll have a ton, you'll have 50 fields. So just pick a, a few that you find really interesting. So, and then go through and explain them. So for example, agricultural engineers use computer aided drafting and design uh, to look at land and land management and surveys and things like that so that they can plan out um, agricultural use of land. They use artificial intelligence to try to improve crop yields and uh, improve ways to um, increase yields from, from lots and things like that. Uh, they also do, this one's kind of a weird one, right? Modification of environmental factors. So if you have something like that, explain it a little bit. So the idea here is that you're controlling the temperature, you're controlling the amount of light, all of those kinds of things to really drive up yields. And then uh, improving the efficiency of agricultural equipment. That one's a little more self-explanatory, so I don't have to go into that one as, in as much detail if this is my presentation. Make sure that you hit that job outlook from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So job outlook over the next decade is 5% growth, which is a little slower than average. And median pay is 84,400, which is not bad. The Professional Society is this American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers. And then you might wanna even spend a second to look at their website and show what you found helpful on their website. Um, some of the websites are gonna be um, really kind of locked down unless you have a, a paid membership. And so if, if it's in that case and there really isn't much helpful on the website for a student, you could just mention that in your presentation. And then you looked at some job postings. So this would be a summary of what we found out from the job postings. So two of the three jobs that I looked at mentioned computer-aided design. Uh, one of them mentioned AutoCAD Civil 3D. One of them mentioned Creo. So it looks like two out of three jobs are, are talking about CAD, computer-aided design. That's important. And then the other ones were one job mentioned industrial process experience. One job mentioned you know, drivetrain because this is for heavy agricultural equipment. Uh, and then one job mentioned civil engineering design. So this was with land development and land management. And then end with the summary and conclusion slide, even with a short presentation like this, it's always good to end with the summary and conclusions. So you summarize that you looked at whatever field of engineering you looked at. Give that one sentence summary just one more time that helps your audience kind of get that crystallized in their mind. And then 
you might want to do one more conclusion. So the thing that kind of stood out to me when I looked at this was the importance of that experience with computer aided design. It might not be intuitively obvious when you think agricultural engineering, uh, but it kind of makes sense that, hey, if you're doing a bunch of stuff with land and surveys and things like that, computer aided design would be really important. So I wanted to hit that as one of my other main conclusions. So with this, I'm kind of giving you a presentation on how to do presentations. And you obviously don't need to do that when you do your presentation, but hopefully you kind of get the idea and just sort of focus on the content. You don't need to editorialize as much as I did. So I hope this helps. And when you're done, you can just click on stop share and then you can end the recording, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'll see y'all later.